Teofimo Lopez and Vasil Lomachenko. Kid can punch though. Yeah, can... you know, but the thing is, punches are really, really good when they can land it. When they can land it. You know, because you could be, you could be good. You could have a knockout. You could do all that. But when you have somebody that has experience, they could take all that away from you, and then you'll be left wondering, oh man, I should have waited. With a big fight happen Saturday, there are plenty other potential fights in the next two weeks that could be pretty good also. One of those fights are Naya Nui versus Jason Maloney. Now if this is scheduled for October 31st, unless something changes. I know most people will be focusing on the Leo Santa Cruz fight against Javante Davis, but I believe potentially Nui and Maloney will be a sleeper for fight of the year. Obviously, Inouye is a favorite in this fight, but Jason Maloney is not a slouch. He's a pretty decent fighter. He has one loss, a split decision loss to Emmanuel Rodriguez. That fight couldn't win either way. He's a pretty good puncher, and he's not intimidated by Noe Anui. His last fight was June 25th, and he stopped Leonardo Baez in the seventh round. And Inouye's last fight was early November, so when he gets to the ring October 31st, It'll be almost a year since Inoue had a fight. So Maloney might have an advantage there because Inoue might come in a little rusty. But if you look at the, both of these guys' style, it's going to be a very exciting fight. I don't know if I would go far as Bob Aaron because Bob Aaron said it's going to be more exciting than the Casimir Inoue fight would have been. I wouldn't go that far, but I think this fight's going to be pretty good. It's not going to be boring. I do not expect it to go the distance. I think it's going to be a knockout in this fight. Both guys like to punch. If I had to pick a winner right now, I would go in your way. I think he throws better combinations. His shots are straighter. And I think he punches just a little harder than Maloney. But we shall see. Anything can happen in boxing. Last fight with Denair, Denair hurt him. And that's the first time I saw the monster hurt. And other boxing news, prediction time. All the trash talking, the mean mug, all the promises. All comes to a head Saturday night. Who will win the big fight? Lomachenko or Teofimo Lopez, or who has the most pressure to win the fight. Teofimo Sr. believes that they're going to have to hunt down Lomachenko because he'll be running all night. Teofimo Sr. says regardless of what he does, once we get our timing down, he's done. He won't be the last six rounds. Lomachenko said at the weigh-in that he wanted to box 12 rounds, meaning he wanted to punish Teofimo 12 rounds. By the way, this is the most I've seen Lomachenko hyped up for a fight. You see the face off at the weigh in with no mask on? Lopez and Lomachenko are ready to get after it. Both guys in phenomenal shape. Weight will not be an issue. After the weigh in, TFM says, I'm going to go in there and muscle him around and kick his ass. Going into this fight, I always thought it was a 50 50 fight. Lopez could change the fight within a second with his power. I like to thank both champions for not putting this on pay-per-view, both not letting money get in the way, because this fight can easily be on pay-per-view. Thanks for once giving the people what they want. My prediction is Lomachenko by decision, but it wouldn't surprise me or I would, would not be mad at all if Tiafima Lopez won. I'm going with Lomachenko's experience to take this fight. Even though I'm a Tiafimo fan and I wouldn't mind seeing him win. But like I said, he has that power to change a fight in a minute. And what I'm not going to do is underrate Lomachenko's skills. Because Lomachenko is a great fighter. Regardless of what you think about him, this is not a popularity contest. You don't have to like him, but he is a great fighter. With that being said, it wouldn't surprise me if Lopez gets a knockout, 7th, 8th round, catches Lomachenko. Or it wouldn't surprise me if Lomachenko stops Tiafimo late with a accumulation of body shots. One thing I noticed about fights like this, they never end like we think they will, and they always an element of surprise. Something that we didn't know will be revealed about these fighters, rather it's a strength or a weakness. 
far as pressure goes, I don't know who's feeling the most pressure. I know it would hurt both guys if they lose this fight. It would hurt Lopez's feelings if he got stopped, especially by a 126 pounder, in his words. Anyway, give me your predictions on the fight tonight. Leave your thoughts and comments below. JBZ, subscribe to the channel. I'm gone.